Why do we need to study Rizal's life, works, and his writings? Most of the students already know that the Rizal course is part of their curricula, but they don't have concrete answer why they are studying the said subject. The answer to such questions can be summed up in two points. First, it is mandated by law. Second, the lessons contained within the course itself. Now, before we go on in tackling the spirit of Republic Act 1425, let us look first the historical context of the Rizal law. Before it becomes a law, it is a bill first. The Rizal bill was as controversial as Jose Rizal himself. The mandatory Rizal subject in the Philippines was the upshot of this bill which later became a law in 1956. The bill involves mandating educational institutions in the country to offer a course on the hero's life, works, and writings, especially in his two novels Nole Me Tangere and El Filibusterismo. The transition from being a bill to becoming a republic act was however not easy as the proposal was met with intense opposition particularly from the catholic church this is because of the issue of the senator claro m recto who was the main proponent of the rizal bill he was even dubbed as a communist and an anti-Catholic. Catholic schools threatened to stop operation if the bill was passed, though Recto calmly countered the threat, stating that if that happened, then the schools would be nationalized. Afterward, threatened to be punished in the future elections, Rector remained undeterred. Concerning the suggestion to use instead the expurgated version of Rizal's novels as mandatory readings, Rector explained his firm support for the unexpurgated version exclaiming, the people who would eliminate the books of Rizal from the schools would blot out from our minds the memory of the national hero. This is not a fight against Recto, but a fight against Rizal. The bill was eventually passed, but with a clause that would allow exemptions to students who think that reading the Nole Metangere and El Filibus de Rismo would ruin their faith. In other words, one can apply to the Department of Education for exemption from reading Rizal's novels, though not from taking the Rizal subject. The bill was enacted on June 12. 1956. The Rizal Bill became the Republic Act number 1425, known as the Rizal Law. The full name of the law is an act to include in the curricula of all public and private schools, colleges and universities courses on the life works and writings of Jose Rizal, particularly his novels 
Nole Metangere and El Folo Bus Turismo, authorizing the printing and distribution thereof, and for other purposes. devoting his life and works in shaping the Filipino character. Third, to gain an inspiring source of patriotism through the study of Rizal's life, works, and writings. So far, no student has yet officially applied for exemption from reading Rizal's novels. Correspondingly, Former President Fidel Valdez Ramos in 1994, through Memorandum Order No. 247, directed the Secretary of Education, Culture and Sports and the Chairman of the Commission in Higher Education to fully implement the Republic Act 1425 as there had been reports that the law had still not been totally carried out. In 1995, Chad Memorandum No. 3 was issued enforcing strict compliance to Memorandum Order No. 247. Not known to many, there is another Republic Act that concerns the hero. Republic Act No. 229 is an act prohibiting cockfighting, horse racing, and high ally on the 30th day of December of each year and to create a committee to take charge of the proper celebration of Rizal Day in every municipality and chartered city and for other purposes. The academic subject on life, works, writings of Jose Rizal was not mandated by law for nothing. Far from being impractical, the course interestingly offers many benefits that some contemporary academicians declare that the subject, especially when taught properly, is more beneficial than many subjects in various curricula. Here are the following significance of the academic subject. The subject provides insights on how to deal with current problems. There is an old adage saying, He who controls the past, controls the future. Our view of history forms the manner we perceive the present, and therefore influences the kind of solutions we provide for existing problems. 
Jose Rizal course as a history subject is full of historical information from which one could base his decisions on life in various ways the subject for instance it teaches that being educated is a vital ingredient for a person or a country to be really free and successful it helps us understand better ourselves as Filipinos the past helps us understand who we are we comprehensively define ourselves not only in terms of where we are going but also where we come from our heredity past behaviors and old habits as a nation are all significant clues and determinants to our present situation interestingly the life of a very important national historical figure like Jose Rizal contributes much to shedding light on our collective experience and identity as Filipino. The good grasp of the past offered by this subject would help us in dealing wisely with the present. It teaches nationalism and patriotism. Nationalism involves the desire to attain freedom and political independence, especially by a country under foreign power, while patriotism denotes proud devotion and loyalty to one's nation, Jose Rizal's life, works, and writings, especially his novels, essentially, if not perfectly, radiate this trait. For one thing, the subject helped us understand our country better it provides various essential life lessons we can learn much from the way Rizal faced various challenges in life as controversial figure in his time he encountered serious dilemmas and predicaments but responded decently and high-mindedly through the crucial decisions he made in his life we can sense his priorities and convictions which manifest how noble, selfless, and great the hero was. For example, his many resolutions exemplify the aphorism that in his life there are things more important than personal feeling and happiness. It helps in developing logical and critical thinking. Critical thinking refers to discerning, evaluative, and analytical thinking. A philosophy major, Jose Rizal, unsurprisingly demonstrated his critical thinking skills in his argumentative essays, satires, novels, speeches, and written debates. In deciding what to believe or do, Rizal also proved his being a reasonably reflective thinker, never succumbing to the irrational whims and baseless opinions of anyone. In fact, he indiscriminately evaluated and criticized even the doctrines of the dominant religion of his time. A course on Rizal's life, works, and writings, therefore, is also a lesson in critical thinking. Rizal can serve as a worthwhile model and inspiration to everyone. If one is looking for someone to imitate, then Rizal is a very viable choice. The hero's philosophies, life principles, convictions, thoughts, ideals, aspirations, and dreams are a good influence to anyone. Throughout his life, he valued nationalism and patriotism, respect for parents, love for siblings, and loyalty to friends, and maintained a sense of chivalry. As a man of education, he highly regarded academic excellence, logical and critical thinking, philosophical and scientific inquiry, linguistic study, and cultural research. As a person, 
he manifested versatility and flexibility for sustaining a strong sense of moral uprightness. The subject is a rich source of entertaining narratives. People love fictions and are even willing to spend for books or movie tickets just to entertain by made-up tales, but only a few perhaps know that Rizal's life is full of fascinating non-fictional accounts. Bills are law in the making. They pass into law when they are approved by Congress which consists of both House of Representatives and Senate and President of the Philippines. A bill may be vetoed by the President, but the Congress may overturn a presidential veto by garnering a two-third vote from each Houses. If the President does not act on a proposed law submitted by Congress, it will lapse into law after 30 days of receipt. In relation to this, the Rizal Bill, which is now Rizal Law, had passed all of these chambers and approved by the Congress and